Hi, I am Cristina and today I'll talk about jellyfish. Jellyfish are marvelous creatures with a gelatinous body. It's easy to recognize jellyfish. They have a convex portion called umbrella with numerous tentacles hanging from its margin. The manubrium is a tubular structure hanging from the center of the umbrella, ending with an opening which acts as both mouth and anus. The jellyfish of this video belong to the phylum Cnidaria and the class Cyphozoa. The word Cnidarians originates from Greek and means nettle. This name is referred to their ability to inflict painful stings by means of a stinging organelle called nidosis, contained in the epiderm. This picture shows numerous nidocysts on the surface of a jellyfish tentacle. These organs contain a colder thread, often bearing spines. Here, discharged nidocysts and averted thread are shown. The nidocyst discharge is a trigger, for example, when the human skin or a prey are in contact with the tentacle. The thread is ejected and penetrates in the victim, and the toxin is injected in its tissues. How do jellyfish reproduce? Let's see the moon jelly life cycle. The life cycle of Cnidarians shows two main stages, the polyp and the medusa or jellyfish. The polyp lives attached to the bottom, while the jellyfish is a free swimming. The polyp presents a mouth and tentacle direct upward, while in jellyfish they are direct downward. This video shows a polyp few millimeters high. The polyp waits for an imprudent prey, for example a small crustaceans. As in jellyfish, when the prey is in contact with the polyp tentacles, the nidosis discharge and the prey is captured and eaten. Polyps produce other polyps by means of longitudinal division of the body, or giving rise a dilatation along the body called bud. The bud grows and develops mouth and tentacles. Later it detaches from the first polyp, originating a new individual. This reproduction form is defined asexual. Similarly, the polyp gives rise to a young jellyfish. The polyp, or better, the cyphopolyp, forms several septa along the body and tentacles disappear. The polyp distal portion results divided in several dishes and this stage is called strobila. The strobila may change color while the dish margin becomes lobated and the dishes start to pulsate. The dishes detach from the strobila, giving rise to a young jellyfish called Ephira. Here we can see a group of three just released Ephira. The Ephira are driven by current and undergo a series of morphological changings, such as the tentacle development and size increase. Within a few weeks they become one centimeter wide jellyfish. Within next months, the jellyfish grows and is able to reproduce. There are male and female jellyfish that, respectively, produce sperm and eggs. The male releases sperm into the water that reaches the female gonads, fertilizing the eggs. The fertilized egg releases a free-swimming larva called planula. This kind of reproduction is defined sexual. The larval stage swims and finds a good place to settle, therefore it originates a new polyp. The main steps of the life cycle are recapitulated in this picture. The polyp produces other polyps by division or budding. Polyps start to strobulate. Many septa are visible along the body and tentacles disappear. Young jellyfish called the fira are released. The fira grow and become adult jellyfish able to reproduce sexually. Female and male gametes merge and the fertilized egg releases a free swimming larva. 
Later, the larva settles on the bottom and originates a new polyp. See you to the next video!